As you can see, I'm enjoying another day of hard work. It's a beautiful afternoon. And thanks for joining us, folks. Hey, come with me. Something to show you. Here's a hand-painted sign I did for the the entrance here, just to encourage people to come in. Here's our car, our trusty steed. Bit of advertising there. We need that, don't we? To advertise. Na, na, na. General public, they need to know where to go. Ooh. Bit more advertising. And as you can see here, this is a, a booth that I've just bought. And to be quite honest with you, I I really didn't know very much about about these these booths, but I did some research on the internet and um, I ended up ordering ordering this one, and I, I must say I'm very happy with it. It's um, it's good quality. This particular one has got a door that rolls up and down. Velcro fasteners. It's also got here behind a window which you can also drop down this section and zip it shut. Um, yeah, inside it's I guess it's the sort of conventional construction or fabrication that, like most of these are. Um, one thing that did impress me was the, the poles here are hexagonal aluminium and they are really quite sturdy. Um, they've also got this ratcheting system here. It's got three height positions and you just simply depress that there and it like a pin goes in and out. Um, it's like 600 gauge on the on the roof part up here and the side walls which velcro on here they're 300 that's the 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 material the um so yeah i'm i'm pretty i'm pretty impressed with it it went together pretty pretty easily also you can see down on the floor there there's red that's where you can stake it, you put a stake through there and you can stake it through that red to the ground plate there on the bottom um, we are actually going to be participating in the the arts festival here here in in State College uh, July 12th, 13th, 14th and 15th so if you are in the vicinity or visiting the the um, the show, then please drop by our booth. We are A52 on uh, Allen Street, I believe. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show show you that because maybe you know, as a as artists and craftsmen, if we go to shows, sometimes we need we need a good booth, don't we? And one that isn't isn't going to fall apart and uh, 
I mean, I haven't had a lot of experience with, with this one, but from putting it up and just seeing how it goes together, I don't know if you can see, but it it um, zips on the corners. So yeah, also some of the hardware that goes with it in terms of like the case itself, as you can see, has got some decent, decent stout wheels on it. And in here, you've got decent stakes. I mean, real proper stakes for, you know, not lightweight things. There's four of them. And then you get the, for each stake, you get the, um, the guy rope, and that's the guy rope there, it's all done up at the moment, but I just thought I'd show that to you. So yeah, the quality is, I, I, well, I'm quite impressed. Um, the, the awnings go into this, into this bag, again with a Velcro fastener. It weighs quite a lot, I have to say. But there you go. Ah. So, what am I doing? I'm actually finishing a few things off over here. Um, I'll just, before starting on anything new, uh, I'll do that in the next clip. I'm just going to show you some things I've just. I've just been working on, so let me put the camera here on the tripod. Um, we'll just sort of talk about this briefly. What we've got going on here, we've got there a, one of my impressed pots. Trimmed on the bottom. Nice full form with a, a delicate little feature here just on the on the top there where it sort of comes in and then the curve reverses and just just comes out you know I put a couple of lines there just to accentuate that so I was quite pleased with that actually that's paddled with my um, I think I should wash it off because it looks a bit dirty doesn't it don't want to be showing you a disgusting dirty paddle. There you are, let's see. Actually, if you go, you can you can order these from my... Yeah, actually, they're not on the website at the moment. But don't worry, if you want one, you can just... It's the same price as the one that's on the website. It's just that this is a different design. Just stipulate that you want the, the star design. Um, these are made out of cherry and they're linseed oiled and they're made by my, my carpenter friend who makes my wheels so but this is what we use to to paddle these these kind of pots okay so you find those on my website or you find the other ones that are very similar to those uh, but with a a grid pattern as opposed to that but never mind as I say if you're interested in one of those you can buy one of those but just say on the on the order just say star paddle yeah so what else what else are we doing what else have I been doing I've been doing some oh some little little jam pots these guys over here These are actually just pretty much the same as the the, old, the storage jars, and um, they're just basically a smaller version of the storage jar. These particular ones, um, I didn't put. I haven't put a spoon cut out in them, but. Um, the same 
same idea as the storage jar with this recess here under the lip which gives you the practical just being able to to lift them up you know easily like that so you don't really need extra handles or or lugs or anything else like that because this is just a straight pickup like that on the recess so they they are thrown in one piece like that they're then turned over thumbed off and the lid is thrown in one piece and we measure the lid like we did the with the with the calipers we measure across so have a go at those these guys are drying in fact they I got caught short because they got a little bit drying a little bit too much on the on the tops and getting a bit too dry on the tops so I've um, I've inverted them so the bottoms dry out of course that's important to do isn't it remember your pots invert them as soon as you can put them face down so that the bottom half dries uh, otherwise you get a pot that is just contracting at the top and the bottom it's so you, what effectively if you have a cylinder it, it ends up looking like that you know so you want to make make them make sure they dry equally okay well I've got some actually I want to make some some little bottles so I'm going to go and do that in a minute. Until then, Simon Leach saying, keep practicing. See you soon.